So far, this is working to allow Buceto to the inside of it, but will it allow them to get a plant, or does it fire back against them now? So far, it works, especially with the micro smokes now being deployed to give Buceto a safe corner, supposedly at least to go for this plant. Will anyone on MM challenge it? They're certainly attempting to do so as they move forward, and they successfully drop the case to the ground. Unfortunately, Neo gets a little bit aggressive there, ends up chucking a Pokeball at Nello, and takes him down accidentally to even the numbers back out. But Solotov pushes it right back into Eminem's favor with the pickup against Potoxi. That'll also eliminate, of course, now that shield player brace its presence ever again more than likely going to have to remove Eminem from the lobby before they get to that one the pre-fire out they'll take down Solotov it's all left up to tyrants 3 and 0 the warm out or the warm up working out well for him nade will take him down stuns out Gara hook ready looking to fly through the hatch and that will at least work for a moment until Yozis stands up and takes him down Lion's gonna get one but immediately goes down to an explosive I do believe Yuzis will pick up that one. Solotov with some serious damage, but Nade for the double. Eminem do not want to challenge BD unless absolutely necessary because they know they need that intel. Eminem, they have to try and prevent this plant again. This time, no smokes, though, John. They're willing to try and cover their bases. Nitro sell out. It won't deal anything. Eminem, they're going to have to try and go about this through, well, unadulterated aggression, and so far, it's worked extremely well. They've bodied every Black Dragons member that they can, and, well, that's more than likely going to be the round right there. I highly doubt Monty can get it done on such low HP. And in fact, Vicento is just going to lay there and get locked out. And then Yuzis is going to shoot him. Like we've just found here, Perez able to work himself in, knocking out Oh my tired. gosh. Oh, it's a chain of smokes that's actually going to get Vicento. That drops the case. Beautifully noticed and followed through by Nello there to be able to shut down the Montane yet again. But once again, Nade as well as an initial member of Black Dragons able to frag back out against Eminem, leaving only Nello in the defensive setup. And he won't last that long. Nade gets that final kill. And really limiting their options overall to actually stop the plant from going down. Beautiful timing shot from Perez right there. Here's the shots going in through the wall. Takes it down. Neo in the meanwhile making a big play here to finally put an end to Perez's issues. Three versus three going into the post plant and this is exactly why I like the Osa more. Bassetto doesn't just have to sit in a corner and watch all of his teammates do something. Although he will die to use this, he still had an opportunity there. Ion in behind. He really wishes he could get these shots back but for some reason Tyrant's going to give it to him anyways. He walks out with just the magazine out of his gun. Perez causing all of this delay with just his singular position on the inside of the shrine right now. Nate assisting with this from a distance. Also, he picks up another slam dunk kill, and there's the big one from Perez. Takes away the control on the inside of Tea Room. More than likely makes the entry from the other players nigh impossible now, and in fact brings it all down to one. All on Nella, who's going to reset the map control, go back in from balcony side, and even then does doesn't suspect the play from down the hall. Black Dragons, at least considering their scoreboards, but Nade, he has shown up and he has dealt so much damage. They have been lights out up against Marshmallows and Molotov. Solotov will go down, Nello dead to the world as well. And Eminem, they're trying to centralize, but oh my, Perez gets it done again up against Uzis. And it looks like Eminem not really having too much available to them. It's a triple kill now for Paris. Looks like Tyrant will at least be able to stave off the flawless round and impact out, but it looks like it might just be a rotation from our player. He's ready for it, but Nade also collapsing from the rear. A 7-2 to two victory here. No prevention underneath. You can see FaZe, they've got that covered. All their ducks in a row and a kill onto Mohese. Valkyrie's gonna try and work her way around, but she can't find the angle. Beautiful work here from Astro. Is Dexter actually going to take down cameraman Benji will find one for himself and they have an opportunity to keep this round in their favor. Cyber with a nice pickup there, evens out the numbers yet again. This repel position from Bullet as well. Can just go for two right off the bat. Only one is going to go for the full outright peak, though. And Dexter caught on the way back in. Mirage falls to pieces, unfortunately, on this retake. But Benji keeping the hopes alive. Mirage still looking forward to this matchup to have a real opportunity to face off against one of the best and brightest inside nice. of Lada. Benji taking the duel right to them in the meanwhile. Souls, he's going to hop in, but the proximity goes off. Dexter now knows that location, but he's going to wait patiently. She just walked right into him and, oh, please. Oh, ho, ho, that's always scary when that happens, isn't it? Mirage not showing anything else at this point. They don't want to give up this lead they've already built for themselves. And Daxter locking in one more because why the heck not? All in the cameraman now. 
basically just trying to work himself in, trying to pad the stats as much as possible because the round is pretty much gone by the wayside here. Everyone else on Mirage coming in for the pitch. Very nice. And there we go, Benji seals the deal. It's a flawless round from the players on Mirage. So that'll be a bit of a tough one for FaZe to try and work themselves into without proper clear of the utility, but maybe able to do this. Here we go for Cyber, though, leaping back up on top. He's gonna get the drop, but at least one member of the squad make it more than that as well. Cameraman able to take out Mohesi Kento, starting to battle back from this fray now. And should open up at least a chance for them to get the plant down on the ground, but it's still very, very close to a retake here. As it's come to a halt now, look at this, the walk-in from Kento on the backside, immediately slaps out two players from the phase assault and gives the advantage back over to Mirage, but there is a counter to that as Astro comes in for the very same angle that Kento did and evens back out the number count. Cameraman. Lurking in the shadows, in the wings, away he'd melted, and he'll get it. Benji down to a sliver's worth of HP. You breathe on him, well, he's gonna fall on over. They're hounding his location. Astro will get it. Cyber moved on up. Oh, very well done from Dexter. That timing, gorgeous. He will save his friends inside of Kitchen, and not only that, Melted now has the case. Melted with the case in hand. Oh, oh. Astro with the drop down, though, and the lock-in on to Dexter. Will be able to move out and regroup. He's already working on closing in on his position. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, it seems, but he wraps the corner anyway. Delays things out for a little longer. The prone play, though, sticks his feet out, giving the shot over to Cameraman and the kill along with it. Melted still holding on to things on the inside of the site. The Frostbat actually did down the second member of FaZe, so it came down to a 1v1. He's finally taken down Bullet inside of Pantry, and this has opened things up for Mirage to try and take this round in the last 10 seconds. Deep down to those final 10 seconds, however, Kento playing a huge support role and not even realizing the top downs that would have shut these players out. And of course, just like we mentioned, the dying seconds of the round, that's when these types of mistakes are made. It's been a while since I've worked these angles upstairs, so I don't know if Bullet has the closure here. I don't think that they have a place to put this plant down. It looks like he has all of the angles on the wall. He does. So there's really no place unless Benji slips past him any well. Oh, no, that's bad too. Oh my. Such an unfortunate circumstance there for Benji. The angles from FaZe, they're just too strong. As has oftentimes been the story here so far throughout this game, it just seems like Mirage missing a few key details once they realized it was a problem, so just tried to force the issue, led to their planter going down. Melted, though, not out of the fight just yet here. Brings it to the 1v1, but ultimately, still ends up falling into FaZe's favor. And Mirage now just gonna go for the all-in assault. The swing from Karaoke, the Nitro in, but that's not even what seals the deal on the kill. Astro able to pick it up instead with his secondary. Mirage now down to two as Kento completes his wrap up the back stairs to try and pinch things in here. Look like he had a headshot, but apparently not. Bullet gets it to it first and is able to knock out Kento. Oh, Benji, let's see if you can hit your shots. Everybody approaching you from every single oh. angle, but Cyber wins it with the pre-fire from downrange. Disgusting stuff. Phase up Brazil. It wouldn't be out of question for Sandbox to just go for that drop, as Good Boy does find the kill onto Uno. That is going to be an opening that they need. Grizzly shut down as well. Sandbox looking to find his first round to go their way. They're going to see if they can maybe retake and do some damage, and now it's just Mello trying to find where the kit has gone. Do they know? They seem to be repositioning themselves somewhere safe. There's the reveal of the player. There's the spray down. The connection is all sandbox, as is the first round. Might be uh, a quick bunch of aggression coming through with Candelas and, of course, the light screens that sense brings the Nitro. Deals a little amount of damage, just static, nothing to worry about. The Claymore, though, will find the entry kill, but it's instantly hero to strike back with three. They found success with the single jump out last round, so why not try and go all in on the concept? Doom just sees the side of a player, but does not catch any of the bullets to connect. Benji's gone all the way down to the basement, though, has the opportunity, well, no longer to use at C4, so it's becoming something to use with the shock, and possibly if they do decide to get up on that top floor. Grizzly takes down Ar Arakazi, and he shuts down the flank in the back from Benja. Sort of covering his own movement, hoping they lean into it. There's one tucked on the piano that he doesn't quite see, though, and Grizzly. We described him as reliable earlier. Static. If he can get around the back of this, he should be able to get a free pick, but it depends. How aware are they? There's a bit of movement. Not at all. It's the swing. Benja. He takes care of Static, and... Oh, he almost gets the next, but there's Shile from Piano. I was trying to go aggressive, but all the way from the back of the piano is Joom that finds good boy. Charles trying to respond though, finds one, doesn't connect to Joom, leaves it only up to Envy Taylor. Now, he's taken under damage, taken under fire, and taking the fight right into the corner towards the second of the shield. They know exactly where he is, set themselves up the two versus one. They're either side of him, they swing in.
Doom, he needs to go for that retake at some point. He's looking for the right fight, and he finds the first, swings into the second through the bed, but he cannot quite get the proper connection. They've dropped behind. There is another player pushing from the bathroom, but he doesn't get there in time to stop it. He's managed to isolate three one versus ones. Can he get the fourth? It's Doom! The smoke canisters still coming through. What do they have left to actually make this execute happen? I think it's just guns. Well, the guns start to pop off. Uno and the kick goes cold. June pushes right into blue, and Benj is able to find Arakaze. Static does stop the run up blue. Good boy with the rotation gets a huge take onto Mello. Suddenly they have the body advantage and a cold kit outside that gets picked up and rotated by Grizzly. They're inside the site, tucked. They get the pop up kill there. Doom is going to do his best to cover us. Grizzly goes for the stick. MV Taylor, he gets taken out on the swing. Doom, he pulled a quad in the last round. He's looking for another, and Damn. he finds it. Uno is putting it down on the ground. 45 seconds. Good boy doesn't have an opportunity to cancel that as of yet. Now it is going to be starting to count down, but Doom still in the middle of the side. He's going to be able to shut them down if they go for it. There it is. Very well played there. The use of the barrier got him there. It's split second too late, so he couldn't stop the plant. And here, the fight comes around the corner. Benji gets the back of the head of MV Taylor, and Doom gets his second for the round. I mean, I don't know if he really has the time to even get to the kid at this point, but he's not going to see it anyway. Benja tucks the corner. Heroic. They sit on map point six to two. He's on the lead in the hunt. Good boy's watching the angle, waiting for this fight. They want to get a pre-fire and a tracer so they can lean back into it. Tucked around the corner, waits for the movement, pre-fires the angle, gets the kill onto one, gets returned. Two versus one, Grizzly's in sight, caught reloading. Sandbox, third round. Good boy. Flickers of health is holding onto an angle as explosions cacophony around him. Misses the drop on the first, but catches the second and the third, technically. With Envy Taylor finding the end of it. Do they know about the plant? Well, doesn't matter now. It's down, it's out of time, and it's a three versus two. Sandbox hopes of pulling a single round or on a single player static. They're going to look for the first fight. It's bit scrappy and nobody really connects. It wastes time and that's what Heroic needs. They've dropped themselves outside of the chalet door. 20 seconds, nothing else in pocket. Just an SMG for the connection. No dice. Sandbox failed to connect. Heroic do, they find a win. But as we said before, unfortunately for them, all it does is secure third place here. They're not gonna really be able to get out of this. There's the fight, the pop up around the corner, the call. There's one, there's hot and there's two. Totten's going to see if he can put the pressure down. The main white stairs, I know, and he's caught out. And he's caught out there. Hotton has his triple for the round. A single player, Lysolis. He's caught in the corner, though, and Yeti. Thoughts for the entry again. Lycolas will be shut down. This little frost match might live to save the day for him. Hajime will be able to find folds, and I-9 will shut down Rampy. Enable, or unable even, to get active in this fight. There's another one caught, Yeti. He's driving. The swing's going to come from potentially beepers, which Hajime is trying to keep on a lockdown. They're going for the plant on the far end. Bosco's tucked. The cover is dropped there, pinging the player. They're concerned on the hatch, and Bosco is allowed to get the kit down. Sprayed a bit, survives, doesn't win out the second set of that fight. It's a very clever place to plant, but he's lost the real read on where the players are. There it is. The first line's up. The second is just behind. Yet he takes a bit of damage. Hajime, he's got to chase the kill. Just misses the timing on the angle sprays a bit gives the game away and this is it how are you going to play this softs up the door itself buys himself a second you assume they're just going to shoot through this holds down the click the player's rotated he's looking for the feet and yet he played that perfect and as all the fire is down on the ground now, they hope there's going to be enough time to push through, still go for that plant, and there's no utility left, which there is, to stop this plant from happening once they are safe. Bosco takes the fire, and he takes some fire. BG Man and I-9 are the ones at the moment. It's a three versus three, but without a kit. Oh, they have Ooh, they just picked it up in time, but there's the stop on the plant pulled off. Yeti, ready for the roamer. No, someone is coming in from the flank. He's just making sure he doesn't get spotted. Lacalas will get the first, takes down Bosco to side. It's going to be a shuffle now. There's Hajime with a second. Yeti goes down, but Hotton's able to drive into the site and deeper into the site. Hajime, well, he doesn't last anywhere as long. SSG, they find their fourth. They need to go for Hill. Mary drops and, well, literally hope for the best. It's exactly what Dark goes for, but instantly taken down. The fire pops right afterwards as well. BG Men takes a bit of damage, manages to find a bit of safety. Could go for a plant, but it's not 
not going to be completely safe. It is going to be a soft ball with only seven seconds left. SSG looking to hold on. The diffuser gets dropped. I9 will find one, not the second. I was going to say, didn't see Foles just being in the corner there off the main stairs. Bosco shuts him down. Dark again with a response. Now looking to get inside a janitor to take revenge for the first kill that came through. But Bosco gets it. It's a triple kill for him. Only up to Hajime now in a 1v3 situation. Bosco will be taken down. Is it going to be able to go for the clutch? He takes down that diffuser, picks it up, has the opportunity to dig it in behind the desk now. Everything has been locked up. He is getting some pings. Just make sure that he actually replied to them properly. But as the time is ticking down, he needs to make a decision. And that means that the plant is coming down, hoping to put 45 on the board, but he's about to be flanked by Rampy, who's coming around the corner. The wall banks are coming through. He gets that kill, but that means that the time will run out. There is no opportunity to go for it. This should mean that Hot and Cold is able to lock it off and does so as well. Dark already all the way down onto the main stairs. The keeper barriers are reinforcing the fault. Drop there. Hajime is about to go in. It's a double kill for Fury there. I9 and Hajime both find one. There's Rampy biting back just when they need it the most. They don't know where the kit's going down, but the spray comes for Dark. Now in a post-plant situation, Hot and Cold and Bosco are all that are keeping them in this tournament. Hot and finds the first. They're tucked inside the site. The spray gets the second and two versus two. Control of the verticality, BG Man. He's tucked on a corner. I9 has the range. The plant is in a great place for them to watch. They have themselves locked. There's the ping on the single player. There's a spray back up. They know where each other is, but it's Hot and to get one more. The only man standing between SSG right now and staying in this tournament is I9, once known as Napew. He's able to get the first. He looks for the second. the second. Fury send SSG home. And we're talking like the game's ended. BDS, they leave the group. He didn't have the sharpest start, but has since been able to find the kit down a couple of times. There's the reveal. Pops the head of the player, brings it back to a three versus three. Foltz is just double checking it to make sure it's safe. There'll be the drop and the reveal of the player. Bosco gets the lockdown onto the door itself. The second player is down behind them. He should hear that. There it is, Bosco. he would have to come down to a big clutch, which we're not gonna see. SSG, they win the map, they take the fight. They take the fight, they take the three points and you can see Yeti asking how much, unfortunately just a bit too much. They gave it their all on the last days.